or president elect eh, Bola Ahmed Tinubu of the APC. Him been celebrated in 71 birthday on Wednesday, the 29th of March 2023. Uh -huh. Guardian newspaper dated October 1998. Don't reveal. The true age <laughs> of our president elect. Check your screen, check your screen, go see for there. Inside the newspaper. Uh, now, when uh, Tudubu be returned from self exile uh -huh, in 1998, they've been conduct interview for him. When they hear me, that time he was 57 years old. Now, fast forward from 1998. To 2023. Do your mathematics. Add and plus. How many years? That's now 82 years of age. <laughs> but he's just celebrating 71. Eh, that he is 71. This one not be saying a propaganda. Oh. Check your screen. Now the newspaper now indeed. Yeah. The first line I go see for there. Eh, eh. Not be saying a one kind newspaper when you get level. Now guardian newspaper. See the date. October. 1998 Tinubu, 57 years of age but on wednesday the 29th of march 2023 our president elect Tinubu, they celebrate 71 uh, birthday when i see one thing uh, anything built on the wrong foundation can never stand so it is clear that our president elect is 82 years of age not 71 how person go get mind minus 11 years from in age? Kai. It's all right. Fast the bad guy. Eh, fast the bad guy. The, the singer won't know. When they hear me. Eh, the singer won't know. The fast the bad guy. Him don't come outside. Call remind Nigeria and say. Over 300 billion naira. What do you say? Who supposed to build better infrastructure? Nine government. Nakana a neck, eh? They give a neck. Maybe they use a uh, rondia matter. But instead of a neck to conduct an election with over three hundred billion naira, what did they do? They can't conduct a uh, selection. <laughs> Check out for your screen. Is there your screen? Uh -huh. Over three hundred billion naira mapped out for election, eh? Was now used for selection. So where the money can go? Eh, where the money go? Is that right again? Make I remind you now. Say this APC where they make noise now. Say, eh, make DSS go arrest some people. Say they are threatening the peace of this country. They are making inflammatory statements that can lead to civil unrest. Eh, go and arrest them. Put them behind bars. Now they send this now APC. Now they come outside in 2015. Call one everybody, see? If them try rig this election in 2015, oh, say if them rig this election, say me on a look, oh, that they will set up a parallel government. Oh, I know what that means. Say there will be two governments in the country. <laughs> Take your screen. He did there. Oh, heavy. He did there. Now, national newspaper carry him. This newspaper is what they call for now. Not be by one or two people, oh, we just there inside the one room, write something. Eh, eh. These are renowned newspapers eh, in the country. Now them report this is what they tell you now. See where they talk up. See, we will institute a parallel government if the election of 215, if they rig them. What is their own definition of rigging? Now say if they no win. Did they hear me? Uh -huh. If they no win, make I interpret and where. Say if we no win, there will be parallel government. Two governments inside the same country. But are the same people they cry now. Say look. Why are they protesting? They want to truncate our mandates. They want to do this. They are telling us there will be no swearing in this. Go and arrest them. Arrest them. See their comments in 2015. DSS don't come and tell us. Eh? There are plans. People, they hatch plans eh, to, to, to rubbish our constitution and then install eh, eh, an interim eh, government. So they don't get that intelligence. And even I say they walk towards them. Now, make we listen to Pa Ayo Adebanjo, the leader of the Afenifere group. Eh, now, social cultural group is a Yoruba land. Now, him, they lead them. 
when could we listen to what him gas talk as per this revelation where the dss don't come and tell everybody say look oh, there are plans to rubbish our constitution and the institutes and interim government i'm gonna watch pa ayo at the banjo the dss in particular does he believe anybody, anybody trust them? I don't. And you should do it if you have the evidence. Are they in resistance to tell them that the guy is coming? Or they are resistant to, to inform the police to say the guy is coming and the police to go and take action? What are we making us in this country? What is DSA taking us for? If they are not ashamed of themselves, I'm very ashamed of this. They, they, they should take us as a stuffful Yes, a DSS telling us danger is coming. When your duty is to do the, go, go gather the information of danger, inform the police, for the police to arrest the people. Not for action. To prevent any damage to the country. That's why you are seeking for this. What I don't know, what you don't know, that's what we employ you for. To say it and to take action through the police. Not to another no, danger is coming. No, what do you want us to do? To raise the tempo? I am ashamed. One, that the aspect of it. And I suspect, I suspect the announcement is suspect. They have an agenda and they have not told us. My view it is an attempt to arrest the leaders of the opposition. If they are trying to do protest, pro protest which is constitutional, and they say, yeah, because you want to do this. If you do anybody want to do anything anti-government, and you have the facts, produce the evidence, and go to tell them to court. No matter how such is God. That is what we exist for. You don't exist to tell us that danger is coming. They are to tell those who are responsible to prevent the danger to take action. Not for you to raise the the the, 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 the to, to, to create terror in the country, to tell them that danger is coming when that's what we are supposed to prevent. And therefore, and again, to be told by, is it that one who asked that question? Yes. I How do. far has this DHS been acting on? Information inside that video, we just watch this elder statesman that will be turning 95 any moment from now. Him talk, I'm saying this DSS, even I say they get scuscuff for head, something they worry them for head on our work on a secret investigation. If you don't do on a secret investigation, finally, see people they we want to truncate our constitution uh -huh. and all these allegations when they don't talk from on our mouth, say hey, they won't run. Say on our work now to. Get that investigation eh, because the security investigation that they do. If I don't get them, when I go hand over on a proof to the police so that they go feed do their work. Why would I go come and call the Jalaye? Hey, we don't get uh, information, no. we don't get this one. No. Say they want to do this or they want to do that one. So if I can't come and call talk and now, people won't run them now. When I don't say when I don't give them information, they will come plan again. Say, ah, the first one we don't do, they don't spoil, they don't hear them, we don't expose ourselves. We could hatch another plan. Show on the guest sense. On no on our work. Now, why we never still solve the problem of insurgency in this country? Because we go plan. They go plan finish. They will still carry their mouth to divulge their plan in the public space. How on a thing say America take catch uh, uh, Osama bin Laden under the watch of uh, Barack Obama? They don't plan them for a while. Nobody hear any make him. Nobody hear anything. They plan them, hatch the plan very well, executed it. Nobody even know. That is when your plans will be effective. Not be saying you go hear something, you go come and come the Jalai. Wow, we heard this one. No, we hear that one. When your when your work is secret investigation, hand over your proof to the police and let them do their job. Not just the just the make like. Now, civil society organizations. Eh, I don't tell them. I say they don't they protest for over ten days now inside this country. Them they don't come and talk. They don't talk them, talk them again, talk them over and over and over again. Say, look, Buhari, if after 29th of May, when your tenure will expire, we still have court cases uh, where concern this presidential election, where they never decide. Never, ever, ever, ever do any handover or hand over to anybody. 
there must not be any transition of government. Hand over uh, to who? To the Senate President. Uh, who will now hand over on June 3rd to who? To the Chief Justice of the Federation. So that him will take over as the interim government. Pending when all these cases in court will be decided. So we will know who really win this election. I bet you hear me uh, could I help me listen to these uh, civil uh, society organizations uh, as they take the the they educate Buhari and say this is what you should do uh, as backed up by the constitution. Ungano, listen to these people. The reason our country remained political moribund for years was due to our indifference to suppression, oppression, and injustice. This is why we have been marching for 10 days and now to call and awake our national consciousness to the barrage of illegalities committed during the presidential, national assembly, gubernatorial, and state assembly elections. We hope that the courts will have concluded hearing and pronouncement by May 29 to allow for the swearing in of a new president. However, in the event that the courts are unable to clear litigation before it, it lies within the legal right to direct President Mahmoud Buhari to hand over to the Senate president, who will preside over state affairs until June 3rd, when he will hand over to the Chief Justice of the Federation to preside as interim president pending the resolution of cases and substantive precedent sworn in. All of this is within the bandwidth of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. This is the path to ensure that President Mahmoud Buhari remains within the limits of his lawful tenure, which elapses on 29th May 2023. So so Forever, we shall always fight for our right. They don't talk and finish, and to even give more credence to their to what they talk. They talk say it is even uh, 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 um, acknowledged. You understand by the constitution. You understand if we are in a case like this, then an interim government should take over. It's not something that is uh, not constitutional. It is constitutional. Maybe now what's in DSS? Don't they hear? They call the talk as they will get a secret information. This one is not a secret information or anything. They don't come outside talk and say rally. No be secret information be this. And what they are saying is in line with the constitution. What are they hear me? So make we do the right thing, so make we do the right thing. I tell my yesterday, say make we no burn this country. There is no other place to call our own. If now one burn them, we go shut down all the airport. All of us go there here. Nobody go nowhere. You go nowhere. Nobody say now we can't cause problem here. The next minutes now, we don't know they fly. UK, US, Canada, and the rest of them. We go shut down all the all of us go there. Uh -huh. That's why we want to go burn all of us here. So make Okuma do the right thing and make sure that the mandate of the people is returned. Uh -huh. Let's allow the court to decide all these cases before any handover. Buhari, you don't de hear I'm not. You don't de hear I'm not. Make you no copy like saying, I'm doing your own time. Uh -huh. You burn down this country. Uh, can't come off of office. Make it not happen. No. Uh -huh. My people, even as we preach peace and await a new Nigeria, that is possible. Uh, let's keep hope alive and uh, uh, have belief, be optimistic that the judiciary will deliver to the people their rightful mandate. I go say Ona later. <laughs> I beg. If you like this update, subscribe to my channel. I beg. I beg. Bika, Ejo, Da Allah. <laughs> Subscribe.